of what's happening my people so it's the middle of the night i'm out here people probably gonna see me probably looking crazy and shit but trying to bring you this episode so this is episode seven so this is season four episode seven black messiah that's the name of this episode man try to get through this as quick as possible i got a lot of notes a lot of things to talk about with this episode starts off man keisha wants to keep the baby man and it looks like octavia has let her keep the baby so she gonna have a lot to deal with man and nina nina's trying to like kind of be like are you sure you want to do this and it's like uh don't, don't know don't know but but she's positive she's like uh none of y'all want me to do this and stuff but i want to keep this baby did you want to keep me did you love me that's all that's all i needed as long as as i love my baby that's that's all i need um uh, Duda, Duda trying to save face for Trig and stuff, man. Like, he's going through the, to the hood, trying to show that I'm all right, I'm all right and stuff. Really, I think he's showing, showing some insecurity and stuff. But uh, Trig is like, if you really want to help, man, we got to gotta shut this trap house down, man. We got to get these girls up out of here. So, he gets on his head about that. Jada going through it, man. That cancer is eating her up. Like, it's so sad for my girl man it is not looking good man i really think lena waith is gonna is gonna offer and it's gonna be like uh for emmett to grow up or something some kind of message they're gonna have or just a sad moment to end the season off that's how they're gonna end the season off killing jada I, that's what i think uh trig and his lady uh they good they go to help the help these ladies and stuff to get them out get them out of the house see how that's gonna gonna work out uh Nina, Nina guilt is is eating up like, you know she she did the dirty she did the dirty yeah I'm trying to run through these quick, and I'm I'm gonna try to stay on top top of the ones that need to be uh dived in a little deeper. Uh, she, Jake go ask as uh ask Trig for some money and stuff, and they like uh you don't even know how to step. What I need to know how to step for, I ain't 42, uh, ain't nobody, we can't step in the name of love <laughs> Anyway, that was funny right there, like, the R. Kelly reference to, I like, I like that little part. Uh, then we go to Kev, like, he, at his crib, like, his mama is wrong for that. Like, you depressed? What's wrong with you, boy? You, you mad cause, uh, cause you, your little girlfriend left you for your friend? Like, uh, yes, of, of course. But then it's kind of like she's projecting her shit onto him as well because she left her wife for somebody for a one night stand or something. I guess she like, uh, you can take it because Dre should be able to take it. I guess. I don't know. She, she tripping. She tripping. Like she did Kevin wrong on that, that part. Tiff about to work the sex party, man. And she, she kind of talking to Emmett like, uh, yeah, we doing this and uh, I don't like that. I don't like because I feel like it's gonna be like some. Even before it got to that part, I'm like, man, it's gonna be some Fifty Shades of Grey shit. Like, really trying to make them out to be some some off the wall swingers and shit because they already on their crazy their crazy sex shit. But then you're gonna make them some some weird old swingers and stuff. Like, I don't, I didn't. And I I, I could have been on to something like because I was I wrote this down before they even got to that part, and it turned out I'm somewhat right uh but then they go visit they go visit keisha and emmett uh they go visit keisha and emmett like he walking around the apartment and stuff he he sees uh he sees nina he like i know that look i know that look you didn't did some dirt hey you just gotta tell her and stuff and, and like he he knows because he he didn't been been there he didn't been there and done that so uh papa going through it Papa going through it, man. Like, Maisha done broke his little heart. He trying to make up to uh, Jake on some lame shit, dog. Jake lame, because Jake, yo, it ain't my fault. Ain't my fault, uh, Kevin Lane. Like, that's some bitch ass shit. Whenever, like, you can do whatever and holler at your girls and this and that. But for you to belittle another man, like, for another lady or something, like, that's some, some whole ass shit. Like, I, I can't respect nobody that do nothing like that. Uh, so I don't like that, but I already kind of don't like Jake no more anyway because how he did did you, how he did my boy, our boy, even though Kev he ain't been my favorite character sometimes too. Uh, Kev meets the girl that he bumped into, 
And it turns out that she's a gamer, man. He was waiting outside for a game, and she had the, the inside plug on it. So is that going to be a rebound? Ah, uh, maybe so, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Keisha, Keisha dealing with the blowback in judgment from keeping a baby. Like, she like, I know everybody, everybody judging me. Even my mama don't want me to keep this baby. Girl, and she talking to Tiff. Tiff like, girl, don't worry about it. They ain't want me to keep my baby. Well, they, they was mad about my baby, too. And I got to pay him from them to babysit and stuff. So she like, it's, it's just some, some shit that she going to have to deal with, man. She going to, hey, heavy lays the, the head that wears the crown. Does that apply here? I don't know. But uh, they have a, a montage of positivity in the hood. Like they having signs and stuff. Like people is helping everybody. Like the hood is looking good, man. Like under do the watch. Like the hood is, is looking good for this little second. Will that last? Probably not. Uh, the ladies talking about names. They having like the, the kind of a ceremony kind of thing. It's not. Is it a baby shower? A baby is a baby shower, not a baby shower. And that was a nice little, little part with Jada. She talking about, uh, yeah, names have power and stuff. And then when you naming somebody after somebody, I named Emmett after Emmett Till. Like whenever I think Emmett, I'm not gonna lie. That's not the first Emmett come to mind. I be thinking Emmett Smith. Like, I don't know why she would name Emmett Smith when she from Chicago, but I never thought about Emmett Till, but he was named after Emmett Till. So that, that was cool right there. Papa, Papa trying to teach Jake romantic lessons and stuff, but Papa will fuck up too. Like, nigga, how you gonna teach somebody something? Uh, then the, these girls, these girls that they say, they don't want to be saved because they like, where we, where we can go? We ain't got no families. We ain't got no jobs, we ain't got no houses. Like, we're gonna be on the streets and we're gonna be in the shelter. We're gonna have to come and go when somebody tells us, tell us to and stuff. Like, we'd rather be on the streets at least doing what we wanna do to a certain extent. Like, so they did all that to save these girls and do they wanna be saved? Hmm? Uh, Nina, Nina be honest with Jada about her feelings. Like, like Jada be like, Jada be like, uh, Thank you for, for, for letting uh, Dre, Dre be with me and stuff. I, if I was you, I would have thought something was going on. And Nina like, I kind of did. And then she'd be like, I did something wrong. I, I messed around. Oh, Lord, you got to tell her. And Dre not known to run from anything, man. I don't think Dre is going to leave you. That's what, what Nina is saying. I mean, what Jada is saying. But, uh, uh, eh. Kev goes play this game with this girl, man. Goes to the west side of Chicago. Like, I heard of Westside Chicago in video games. I'm not video games. from Kanye songs and stuff like that. But I ain't never been on the Westside Chicago. I, I ain't never been to Chicago. Well, no, I ain't been to Chicago. I've been to Illinois. I ain't never been to Chicago. But uh, he kind of, he, he a little bit spooked. But they go to a little place, man. It's like an underground black gaming thing. Because he went to the college and they had the white boys gaming and stuff. And he was out at home. So it's good for him to find that they have that in his own culture. Like, like black people have, we like games and stuff too. Um, Imani, Imani, she, instead, instead of putting the girls in some shelters and stuff, they're gonna convert the trap house. They like, I'm getting bit up by mosquitoes. So if you see me twitching or something, like this Louisiana. <laughs> and, but Imani wants to fix the trap house for these girls and stuff, man. So that's what they're gonna be trying to do. Kevin is, you, Kevin is new girl. I, I wrote that down like uh, Kevin is new girl. He is not his new girl. But they have a lot of common man. They they been through a lot. They like games and stuff. Like she thinks he's like privileged and stuff. Like nah, Kev didn't been through hell. Like Kev was getting chased by by Ronnie and stuff. Shot Ronnie. Like his homeboy died. Like oh Brandon got killed. Like uh, his sister got kidnapped and stuff. Like he he been through a lot, man. So like she's going through a lot as well with uh, Vic Mensa as a, a thing. There's a brother and stuff. She's staying with him and they very toxic household that she is in right now uh tiff tiff is at, at the sex party stuff she asked well it's before the sex party but she goes in there and she hugging on him and stuff like i'm about to go to this job and stuff and like she actually showing him attention and then he like man fuck it i'm, I'm gonna go man i need to get get out and i knew it was gonna be some ultra freaky 50 shades of gray shit and you know what i think i think Lena away for low key freaking stuff, man. I think that's just some shit she probably into or something. And so she wrote it in, in, into the script in whatever. And 
I'm, I'm pretty glad that Emmett wasn't like ultra into this. Like he's an overly sexual male and stuff. So I thought that he might have been here and been like, oh. But he kind of like, oh, like, wow, it's crazy. And he's admiring it and stuff. And he's like, yo, can I watch? Can I join? Oh, what, what? No, no you can't. They Like the people there, like they into this shit. So they in whips and chains and bondage and stuff. Like he walking around with his regular clothes on. He's just like a newbie. Like, yo, yo, what's up? What's up? Like he not the cool kid at the party. So that's not uh that's not his scene. But I'm glad it's not. I'm glad it's not, man. And I'm glad Tiff and Tiff wasn't wilding out and sucking all kind of dicks and backing it up on people and stuff. Cause I was expecting like some weird shit to go down, especially with Tiff, man. Tiff seemed like she more into the shit like that than Emmett. But they actually bond at the party and stuff, man. It seemed like it. Like, they, they flirt with each other and stuff. I like when they flirt with each other and not other people. But I'm a, I'm a lame. I'm a square. I'm a country brother. Uh, Kev talking to this girl, man. And it's funny because he, he tell her, I know what I want to be in life. I want to be a chef. Like, but that's his, his male role models. Like, he's Brandon. And then Emmett has a restaurant. So, I guess, but I've never seen him have no kind of interest in cooking or anything like that like that was out of left field like i would think somebody gaming or be a video game programmer or something like that or play on twitch or something and get paid for i i don't know but i wouldn't have thought of being a chef and she like that's funny whatever yo <laughs> um you know homegirl did, he, he like you want to go to the movie or something you ask me on a date like i don't see you like that like that was it was it was funny, like as far as like damn she dissed him, but then it was kind of realistic, because like it and, it and it was a cool thing, because like we always see that on TV and movies and stuff, and that's not real life. Like real life, every female you you see or you befriend or something, that's not gonna be a potential love interest, man. Like the opposite sex can be friends or something, man. Like it is possible, so that that's cool. Like if they become friends. And, and all that but then homegirl she about to have she go through some things because what's gonna happen uh jake is asking Gemma to the dance and he tries to be romantic with it she he got some little signs in his little project ass house in yeah his, his house trash even though there's trig house too i like tree but oh well and he got some little signs of oh babe babe <laughs> i don't like jake and Gemma. I don't like, I wish they both get punched upside their head. Like Kevin, whip him again. Whip him again, Kev. Like, they, they on some bullshit. Then Trig is trying to do his thing in the community, man. Like, they don't have no police right now. They doing their own policing. Like, he tries to go catch up with Vic Mensa and them. They having a, a, a kerfuffle at the crib. He tries to break it up. Dude had, dude pull out a gun on him, man. And, and so he like, man, come on, come on. He knocked the gun out of his hand. Ah, break, try to break it up. Vic Benson picks up the gun and shoot the homeboy in the chest, dog. So, like, he did all that to try to help the people in. It's, the situation came out worse. So, he, he gonna have a lot to deal with, man. Nina finally tells Dre what she did. They screaming like whenever Ricky got killed on Bars in the Hood. Ah, ah. I'm like, God damn, is, is that crucial? I'm like, I know it, I know it had to hurt. But God damn, they put a little extra sauce on it. And then right whenever they had that scene, then it goes back to Trig scene. And like homegirl was hollering because her brother got killed because she called him for a domestic dispute or whatever. And she was the one that jumped on Vic Mensa. So it was a bunch of bullshit right there, man. Uh, Trig got a heavy weight on his shoulders right now, man. Like, it's, it's a hard-ass job being the black messiah. It is it's hard, but I, I commend Trig for trying, but choo. uh Keisha ends up, the end of this episode, she wakes up out of the, out of a nightmare. I'm like, will she, will she have some kind of like postpartum and like have violent thoughts about the baby or something because the baby reminds her of her assailant or something? But no, she rem it, it brought her back to that place and who saved her was Ronnie. And right there, she names the baby Ronnie. Like after who saved it, that was that was dope, because he he did get redeemed on the show. Like it had a, a big a bigger 180 turn in his life, 
and then for her to uh, honor him like that, like that's good. Cause Ronnie, Ronnie was an integral part of the show, man. I hate to see that that he was gone. Him, Brandon, a lot of characters, man. But that that was dope of her to do. Uh, next episode is gonna. It seems like it's gonna be a lot about love and, and people trying to get their booze back or something. Like Kel seems like he's gonna be trying to get Gemma back. Papa trying to get uh Maisha back. Uh, Nina gonna have to try to get Jay, <laughs> Dre back. Uh, Emmett and his girl look like they having another rough patch. Like interesting man but let me get out of these mosquitoes man this might not be the best episode that i did but i tried to do my best man i even i had to watch the episode on the phone like the computer wasn't working and stuff so i had to write on a on notepad and stuff man so i had to just do what i had to do this episode man but uh like comment subscribe to be the and the most hated man like hey it's, 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 almost, it's almost 2 a.m man y'all give me a break <laughs> peace